It is believed that the first armadillos on Earth appeared about 55 million years ago, and these animals owe their survival, unlike many other existing representatives of fauna, to the presence of a peculiar shell. Ancient people called armadillos, tortoise rabbits, which was explained by the ability of this animal with relatively long ears to live in specially dug holes, just like wild rabbits. The armored carapace of armadillos consists of shoulder, head, and pelvic shields, as well as several characteristic hoop-shaped bands with which the body is girdled on the sides and top. All parts of the shell are connected due to the presence of elastic connective tissue, which gives the protective cover sufficient mobility. Horny thin plates of polygonal or square shape are located on top of the carapace. Such plates are the epidermis. The abdominal area and the inner part of the armadillo paws are soft, completely unprotected, and covered with rather stiff hairs. Similar frequent hairs can also be located between all bony plates, and sometimes even horny scales are pierced with them. The coloration of the carapace varies from brown to pink. Hair coloration can vary from grayish-brown to white. The short limbs are strong and well adapted for digging. The front paws are three or five-fingered, with powerful and sharp, visibly curved claws. It should be noted that armadillos are completely unable to survive in sub-zero temperatures, so their prevalence toward the poles is extremely limited. Armadillos have well-developed hearing and sense of smell, but their vision is rather weak, so they cannot distinguish the colors of surrounding objects at all. Metabolism processes are reduced, and body temperature values directly depend on environmental conditions, so they can drop from 36 to 32 degrees Celsius. Armadillos live in areas with sandy soil, and they choose places near fairly large anthills to build their dwellings, which makes it easier to find food. Mostly solitary, armadillos prefer to socialize with their adult mates only during the breeding season. Occasionally, armadillos occur in pairs or small groups. During the daylight hours, the mammals rest in their burrows, and only at night do they go out to hunt in search of food. Even the slightest danger can frighten a medium-sized animal. For example, the pink armadillo immediately burrows into the sand, which it rakes with its long claws. From the outside, such movements resemble normal swimming. Mammals can run quite fast and swim quite well. The standard diet of armadillos in natural conditions includes both animal and plant foods, but the main delicacies for these mammalian animals are termites and ants. Many species belonging to the category of almost omnivorous animals. Armadillos very actively use well-developed and incredibly sensitive nose, which allows sniffing out food even under the ground. With the help of long and rather strong claws, the prey is dug out, then collected by a long, very sticky tongue and then eaten.